to my channel today we are going to see active directory replication errors so basically i do have two domain controllers in my lab so this is the primary one which is this one where i am getting this error message the dsa operation is unable to proceed because of a dns lookup failure so i am aware about this error message why this error message is coming on this domain controller this is my primary domain controller you can just verify simply by using net dom query fsmo once you execute you will be able to see that where the pdc primary domain controller is running this is my server where all the fsmo roles are running okay so i am getting this error message because my remote domain controller uh, that is called additional domain controller which is mentioned at the end of the output see this is what i have selected so this domain controller is not reachable okay so from this domain controller to this domain controller we are unable to contact okay connect so that's why this error message the dsa operation is unable to proceed because of dns lookup failure this message mess error message is pop, pop up okay so how can we check whether that domain controller is available or not you can just simply execute ping command towards this domain controller whether it is pinging replying or not so here i could see destination host unreachable error message okay so this doesn't mean ki that domain controller is not resolving that record is available on the primary domain controller also but the main thing is that domain controller where i am trying to replicate my active directory database is not available that's why i am able to see this error message so how we can solve this error message we just need to check the additional domain controller availability so i could see that the additional domain controller is in stop state so once i power on this domain controller and wait for a few minutes so my primary domain controller will start replicating with additional domain controller without any error message once this server starts so you will be able to see the primary domain controller will not show any error message during active directory replication and also we will see that how will you force the replication from source to destination that also we will see in this video so once you power on this domain additional domain controller you can execute manual sync instead of waiting whatever interval is configured on sites and services so without waiting for that we can simply go ahead and execute force replication okay so the till the this server comes online we will go back to the primary domain controller and i will show you that what interval is set at this moment so the shortcut command to open sites and services is ds site dot msc this command opens sites and services so once the sites and services window opens you will be able to see under your site under servers there are two domain controllers for each domain controller there will be connection okay under ntds settings see for dc001 is connected to replicate to adc002 and adc002 as a connection with dc001 okay so this server additional domain controller is powered on now you can sign in and go back to the primary domain controller and from here what you need to do you just need to click on connection right click and click on replicate now so you will be able to see this message active directory domain services 
has replicated the connection with ADC002. Again, go back to the ADC002 connection configuration and click on replicate now. This will also pop up the same message. So go back to the command prompt and try to ping to the ADC002. Yeah, it is reachable and once again you can execute rep admin repulsive command and it will show everything is good this is how you can troubleshoot active directory replication for the error message which is the dsa operation is unable to proceed because of dns failure dns lookup failure so thank you guys thank you for watching me my video please for more videos please please like and subscribe